All right, we're back. You're back here with Zayn Drayton slash Renwick. It's dangerous out there. We can't sprint because we're so hungry. <laughs> Gotta jump over the wall. This, I know this jump is possible without sprinting. Uh, oh, there we go. We gotta find... Oh, there we are. Some sweet, sweet cows. We can murder them with our chainsaw. Get some beef. And then... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you sounded so happy right as I murdered them. Okay. We need some beef, though. Pretty bad. Something. Maybe we should make a garden. If you guys think I should make a garden, let me know. Uh, I do know how to do gardening. It is a possibility. I've done it before, I swear. Um, I just usually don't. I usually don't bother. I, uh, I can also show you guys how to make a farm. Uh, how to, like, gather a bunch of animals together for, uh, regular slaughter. Um, that's fun, too. So, what do we got? We got 11 raw beef. That should be good for now. So let's, uh, kill a couple of cows on our way back. We just can't resist. They're everywhere. Um, come here. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> Perfect. We'll hit. Oh, there's some. What? Hey, he was miserable. He was in the oil. We had to save him. Use our drill to dig out of here. Ah! Oh, oh. Somehow, killing cows with a chainsaw, chainsaw, <laughs> chainsaw, is uh, it's strangely satisfying. It's also really, really gross if you think <laughs> think about doing it in reality. Go. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. And real quick we'll take over take over the furnace because we need this we need this meat quick. Oh man, we're all done? Oh, that's awesome. Let's uh let's take let's take that stack in like a half. And go ahead and put that in there so it'll turn into uh refined iron. Because we're definitely gonna need some refined iron. Oh, oh sweet steak. Oh, oh we will We'll treasure this. We need to. Oh, well, we need to take off our helmet. Uh. Whoop. There we go. There we go. To eat this. Oh. Oh. Oh, yummy. Sweet. Oh. Let's see if I can open the chest. There. Oh. No, that's not a chest. There we go. Haha. -ha. More steak. Oh, lovely steak. Steak. So good. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we got how much? Well, there's some more cooking. We'll go ahead, uh, we'll let the health regen. We should dump some of this, some of this stuff before we go off looking for, looking for all that. Uh, we should put our helmet back on too. Looking for all that, all that goodies. Let's get all this junk out of our inventory. Oh, we had apples. Oh, we didn't. <laughs> We didn't even need to go off getting steak. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is ridiculous. Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh, that scared me. I don't think. Okay. I don't know if I've ever actually mentioned this on the videos for you guys, but uh, Endermen, they get really pissed off about some things. Um, they get really ticked off if you look at them, or if you hit hurt them. So. Uh, I think what happened during that uh, that episode a couple episodes ago was that uh, the one, the first one, obviously I attacked him and he wasn't too keen on that. But then after that, I think what happened was uh, which one's the one that goes to the masquerader? This one. What was after that that happened was I looked uh, at what I thought was the original Enderman, original Enderman that got really ticked off, but it was actually a different one. So he got angry and then. That's where everything sort of went down. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, if you can avoid it, you don't want to look at Enderman because it it uh, it aggravates them to the point of attacking you. So good to keep in mind. Ooh, we got some steak. Let's drop that in there. Um, trying to get rid of all this stuff before we leave. Got cobblestone. We need to drop all these tools somewhere. Let's drop them in here. All these worthless tools. We don't need any of these because we got our, our drill and our chainsaw. Um, we'll go ahead and drop the ruby axe in there. Do we have a bed? We should put the bed back down. Where do we want it? 
let's put it let's put it over here. This is by this is where I moved the chest that carries all my non-recording gear. Um, did we unload all our bags? Nope, still got some more stuff. Cool. Okay. Let's put all the ingots away. Put the rubber and the cabling. Oh. There we go. That goes in there. And for now, that's pretty good. Okay, let's grab the stakes. And let's go see... Oh, actually, let's put all this pipe away. There we go. We'll put that bow in there for now. Alright, that's good. That's good. Now let's go see if we can find some obsidian. Last time... There we go. Now we're sprinting. I, I have a thing. I try to sprint as often as possible because I don't like wasting time. Okay. Last time we went straight forward, that was not successful, so let's go this way. There's a ton of stuff down here, but I tend to uh, I tend to get lost because I've been in so many different mines. I, I when I go mining, when I'm not recording, I go in a completely separate set of mines, and so when I'm down here, I get kind of turned around. We gotta find some lava. Let's get our chainsaw out. It's kind of noisy at times, but. It's an effective defensive... Mm. Well, does this go up? It does go up. Someone's close. Ah, uh, ha ha! Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, God, that scared me. I knew they were close, but I wasn't expecting them to be that close. Oh, jeez. Whew! Oh, man, that, that actually really scared me. <laughs> Sorry, sorry about the jump. You guys are just like laughing I know, I'm sure. Oh man. Oof. That's what happens when uh when you do a little bit of drinking and then and then you have an energy drink to cancel out the effect of the drinking, and then you do some recording. Uh let's stop, stop up this water. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We gotta find some lava. This is ridiculous. Um, there's actually an uh, interesting thing. There's multiple ways of making a nether portal. Um, well, technically there's one way of... Uh, well, technically there's... Oh man, I just keep going back on myself. Um, mm -hmm, I see you, Creepa. We're gonna two-shot you. Ha -ha. Um, technically there's there are two ways of making a nether portal. Um, Really, there's one way, and then there's a fancier-looking way. Um, but the important thing about Nether portals to know is that um, you can either do one of two things in the gathering of the materials to make them, um, or rather in the way you put the materials in place to make them. You can either make the Nether portal um, from scratch by mining obsidian, um, and then taking the obsidian and then placing the obsidian in the way you make the portal, or you can actually create obsidian in the shape of a portal. Um, it's a little bit more uh, difficult to some extent to do it that way. Oh, sledge cans! Awesome! But if you do do it that way, um, it doesn't actually require a diamond pickaxe, which is important because um, diamonds, a lot of the times, um, is the hardest thing to get in the game. And if you can cut out the step of getting diamonds to either create a diamond pickaxe or a, a diamond drill, like I have, um, then it really makes... Oh! Holy crap! That was some thunder right there. Um, but yeah, if you can cut out the step of needing diamond, it really cuts down on the process. Um, makes it so that 
you're potentially able to make a nether portal jeez that is noisy you're able to make another portal much much sooner um, if you know and I'll, I'll show you guys how to do it that way if I can um, and I'm not gonna bother explaining how to do it until we find some lava because oh my ma um, just because uh, just because it's kind of hard to um, I think it's hard to understand oh now we're back we've gone somewhere we've been before. I think it's kind of uh, there's somebody shooting at us hey how dare you come here come here um, it's kind of hard to understand without uh, without actually being there and me being able to demonstrate um, the different ways that lava interacts with other objects other uh, things. Uh -huh. Let's make a way up here. Man, all this gold, this is pretty sweet. And like I said earlier, you can use gold directly to make diamonds. Effectively, um, two gold ore, if you have a macerator, is worth um, one diamond. Uh, because you can macerate the two gold ore into four gold ingots, and you can use the four gold ingots in combination with the minium stone to transmute them into a diamond. Which, at some point, I'll show you guys, but for now, we don't have a crafting bench, we don't have gold ingots on us, we've got a creeper coming at us, and we've got a murder with a chainsaw. So, for now, we won't go over that to make this a little bit more open. Ah! Damn you, water. We've got to stop up this water. Water is one of the biggest pains in Minecraft a lot of the time. Um, just because it just pushes you all around, it does all sorts of unpredictable things sometimes. Oh, oh, there's somebody... Haha, okay. Oh, that chainsaw is noisy. Don't really, uh... Sh there is a serious storm going on outside. Um... Serious lightning storm. Wow. I'm getting actually a little bit of lag right now, too. Man, we are not getting any luck at finding some lava. It's gonna happen, though. At some point. Wow, we're pretty low too. We're down at uh, like 18 height. Usually, that's about as high as you need to be to find lava. Damn gravel. I don't even know where- oh, lava! I see it in the distance. Let's run to it. Oh, multiple things of lava. Hey, this is where we found the redstone that one time. Okay. Come here, skeleton. Have a taste of my chainsaw. Okay, so. We've got lava. Um. Hmm, huh, choices. Okay. We only have... Ideally, we want to find a pool of lava somewhere. Um, we only have two things of lava right here. Mm hmm. Okay, let's let's go ahead and uh, dump out at least one of these buckets of water. Dump them here. There we go. Now we can fill these buckets with lava. Now the interesting thing about lava and water is um, there's usually two ways you'll find it. You'll either find usually like a single source block like this, and you can sop it up like that, and then the rest of it will slowly go away. If it's water, it goes away much, much faster. If it's lava, it takes a lot longer. Um, or you can find like a lake 
um, of it. And uh, if you find like lakes of this stuff, either water or lava, um, basically every block in the lake or like the ocean is a source block. In this case, um, we bucketed up the one source block and then the rest of it all just disappeared. See, over here, the rest of this wall disappears as well. Um, source blocks are the important blocks. Um, with the way lava and water interacts in the game, it's kind of odd. Um, it basically, you have source blocks and, and non-source blocks. Non-source blocks are sort of like the... Source blocks are basically like the origin, and it's um, either water or lava. It'll just flow infinitely from there. Um, but everything else is technically oh diamonds Ooh. okay we're gonna we're gonna real quick we're gonna mine these diamonds and then we're gonna oh ah oh there's a spider spawner over there we gotta we gotta take that out before we do any mining it's gonna be too dangerous okay and there's some more lava over there that's awesome um Luckily, we've got a chainsaw to deal with these swiftly. Ha! 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 Okay. Ooh, laggy. Okay. Ha! Ha! Okay, we got that. Whoa. That was getting some pretty serious lag spikes there. Um, the chainsaw makes quick work of the cobwebs because the chainsaw uh, replaces your axe and your sword. And the sword is... Um, it actually also replaces your shears. And your sword or shears are what you want to use to take out cobwebs. And as I already showed you guys, um, you need a lot of string, actually. A full stack of string to make a canvas bag. And cobwebs are one of the best sources for mining string. So, you know, it's good to keep in mind to mine that stuff when you can. Let's, let's go over and collect... Maybe we should collect this lava, or maybe we should... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good lord. If we didn't have our chainsaw, this would be incredibly dangerous. But we do, and we're badasses. Okay, let's get up here. Uh, saw through those posts. Oh, jeez. Oh, god, there's a lot of... Oh, we just got level 55. Nice. Uh, man, there's a couple sources of lava here. Um, okay, the one more important thing I was going to show you guys. This episode's going to be kind of long. I apologize for that. Um, I'll show this to you guys and then we'll go... Ooh. Man, there's so much lava. This is awesome. Um, hey, watch yourself. Um, man, we need to remember how to get back down here. There's a lot of goodies down here. Next time we need to do a mining episode. Actually, you know what? Ooh. Yeah. Hey, hey. Stupid cobwebs. Jeez. This is kind of crazy. We need to eat some food. Get our health back. Um, we're going to go ahead and set a waypoint down here so we can get back here for a mining episode. To do that, in case you guys forgot, you hit C. That brings up your create waypoint. Let's do... Uh, Mining goodies. And we'll make it, uh, what color do we want to make it? Let's make it, let's make it like hot pink. So for that, we can put the red way up. Ooh, that's, that's a nice, so, ooh, ooh, there we go. There we go, hot pink. Yeah, mining goodies. Um, alright, so let me show you guys real quick about the interaction of like blocks of like lava with water. Um, so as I already explained to you guys, this right here and this right here, those are lava source blocks. It's kind of dangerous because we got <laughs> a lot of like spiders and stuff around us, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, kind of noisy, but um, effectively, when you have a bucket of lava or a bucket of water, you can create one source block of water or lava um, with those buckets. Um, when you collect, you can only collect a source block. So, the important thing you can do is, when the blocks of lava and water interact with each other, um, here, let me show you guys, we'll do it real quick, just as an example. 
when they interact with each other, right there I just created a lava source block. When you have, um, when you have a, um, water source block, what, well, when you have water and lava interact with each other, there's, oh man, that was bad, that was some lag, right, when he started coming up, um, there's three different interactions, um, I'm trying to remember exactly how all of them work. If you have, um, a water source block and lava runs into the water source block, then it creates smooth stone. If you have um, just water that's not a source block and lava that's not a source block and they run into each other, they create cobblestone. But if you have lava that's a source block and the water runs into that, it creates obsidian. So right there I just placed the water source block above the lava, it hit the source block, created the obsidian, and then I just rebucketed it up that water. And now we can mine up that obsidian and this is one block toward our obsidian portal. So that's really nice. Oh, we need to make some room. Get rid of the flint. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing with these here. And you'll, you guys will see what I mean. Because when I place the water up there, we've got some zombies terrorizing us. Jeez. Uh, um, when I place the water up there, it's going to create a block of obsidian because that's where the lava source block is. And then the rest of this should fill in as cobblestone. Just like that. So. So we got that. And I need to rebucket up that water. And it created cobblestone where it hit all this lava over here, but when I mine away whichever ooh, ah, stop it. When I mine away whichever block of cobblestone was blocking that uh, source block, then the lava will start flowing again and we'll have to place the water above it to create another block of obsidian for ourselves. Which block was it? Ah, right there. So here we go. Bloop. There we go. We got some more obsidian. Let's bucket up that water. There we go. Let's mine away that cobblestone and then mine up that obsidian. And normally the most efficient way of uh, mining obsidian, if you want to, is to find a lake of lava. But this was a more controlled, safe way of showing you guys um, uh, how water uh, and lava interact with each other and how to how to make obsidian. So. Thanks for watching, you guys. You've been here with Zane Drayton, Renwick. Sorry it was probably such a long episode. Uh, next episode, uh, hopefully we'll get some more obsidian, and then we'll we'll make another portal, and, and then we'll, uh, we'll get all crazy, invade the nether with our, our armor and our tools, and go nuts. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a nice, have a nice, uh, whatever you're having. <laughs> all right, later.